Hey everybody, um, I am just hi, hanging out here. Harrison says hi. I'm just hanging here outside, um, laying out while he plays in the kiddie pool, and um, drinking. Look, La Lacroix. La Croix? I don't even know how you say. It. I guess La Croix would be very fancy, but um, the grapefruit flavor is really, really good. So a little. Uh, public service announcement for you there. It's really, really good. Mm. Okay, so anyway, yeah. I just wanted to hop on really quick here and uh, talk about a couple things. So, um, I've never loved tracking my food. Um, you know, everybody, every fitness professional will talk about a food diary or a food log or a food journal, whatever you want to call it. And um, I never liked journaling <laughs> my food. Um, but I'll, I'll say what I realized though is that um, if you're asking is it beneficial for me to journal my food or not, um, the answer is yes. Um, that's kind of a general answer. Um, overall, yes. Especially though if you have goals that you're trying to reach, um, there is a way to find out how much of what we call macronutrients, which are your protein, your carbs, and your fats, um, there there are ways to find out just exactly how many. It's got a water gun trying to shoot me. Um, yeah. How many you need for for you for how active you are and for the goals that you're trying to reach, and that would be like a whole other post or a whole other <laughs> live video. Um, because there's a complete formula on how to find that out for you. But um, if you're specifically if you're trying to reach goals, then yes, you really need to food journal. Um, but I would say just the general public who are trying to either lose some weight or um, tone up or whatever, um, really do need to journal their food because it's really easy to think um, one of two things, that you're either getting enough food when you're not, um, and that actually more often than not is the case. Um, I worked with a lot of people who swore, you know, oh, I ate today, and then they would look at it and they would, it was unreal that they ate the equivalent of like, <coughs> <not real. laughs> which is just totally not enough. So um, that is number one, is that people usually are not getting enough. Um, and then number two, you're thinking that you're not overeating when you are. Um, either will result in fat storage, to be very honest. Um, if your body's not getting enough nutrients, it's going to try and conserve energy, and so it will store things as fat. It will turn uh, your muscle into fat, and so on and so forth. And then, obviously, if you're overeating, it will have too much and will pack it away as fat stores to use for energy later. So, without getting too in-depth, I will say that um, tracking your food is healthy and I recently went through this I wasn't tracking my food for a while um, but we're going on a trip in the end of July and I really I have like, goals that I want to reach um, and I always have goals that I want to reach I never really stop setting goals but I really have wanted to like pack on some more muscle cut up anyway I'm doing a training program and it has a meal plan um, but you, you get busy your mom Maybe you're not a mom and you're just busy, but you don't track your food and you, you even if you're following the meal plan, you get busy and you grab something else or you don't eat what you're supposed to eat and you think you're getting enough and you're not. So I started tracking my food again and that's been so, so helpful. Um, but if, if tracking your food is really daunting, um, what I will say is that there is an app that I absolutely love and you should download it and then you can I think my son just sprayed my phone <laughs> um, download this app and it makes it so much easier because if you're trying to write it down and then use a calculator some people love that some people are like oh my god I love the math um, I don't so get this app you can scan the barcode of any food that you buy most of the it has almost all restaurants like from chick-fil-a to like high-end restaurants where you can actually just import your food as you search it um, you can change the serving size that's really important remember to do that so 
that is awesome because I um, it's like so easy to do and I really don't have to do any work um, other than add stuff in and that takes discipline especially when you are busy but just do it along the way and it's really helpful just make it part of your routine when you grab your snack here and you grab your food um, put it in there it also really does kind of create an accountability aspect because knowing that oh I have to track my food like oh I gotta eat <laughs> I don't know why it just kind of does so um, the app is my fitness tracker and um, so go ahead and download that it's free there is a premium version it's really not necessary to have that but in like the options at the end of the day you can see um, how, what your macros are you can see if you hit your your goal or if you were under or whatever and it's just really, really helpful um, and then the other thing that I wanted to talk about too is um, with that some people who count macros they think that oh well I have this many you know left for the day and uh, it's awesome like having it in my goal I can have like a Reese's peanut butter cup and it's totally fine <sighs> I would say that no, like if if you if you're still kind of in deficit and you need stuff, I don't know. That's really hard for me. Some a lot of people who do macro counting, that's fine with them and they can get it in. Um, but calories are not created equal, so um, I do not. Hey, buddy, watch out! <laughs> I do not calorie count, um, but. They're, they are a guide. So just know that calories are not created equal. So at the same time, you know, just you want to fill your body with the right things. Um, and a Reese's peanut butter cup, make room to like enjoy those things, of course. But overall, don't think just because you have a certain amount of calories, fat, carbs, protein left, you could just do that all the time. Um, just be mindful and just know that yes, um, especially veggies. So. <laughs> Veggies are not super high in protein. Hey, buddy. Wait, just a minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is what it's like living with a boy. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Say hi to them. Okay. Can mommy finish this, please? I like this. Okay, so anyway, um, veggies, they're not super high in protein, but, um, hey, no thank you, not for right now, but they are, um, even, they're low in calories, and they're very nutrient dense, and not to mention all the vitamins and all the things that they have in them, sorry guys, just one second. So maybe now you can hear me. <laughs> um, anyway, so they're very nutrient dense. And they also pack a lot of amazing qualities in them. So by eating and fueling your body with those things, not only can you eat more and they, you can, it's unlimited, you can eat them. Um, but by fueling your body with all those things, it actually aids in muscle recovery, muscle building, and all of that. Even though, yes, your protein and your carbohydrates are very, very important. Just know that veggies play a huge role and they can help you meet your calorie needs or whatever um, by also helping keep you full longer, um, aid in, your, like I said, muscle recovery and muscle building just because of just the nutrients that are in them. Um, so, all that to say, ooh, you got me. <laughs> don't, don't spray me. All that to say, um, my fitness tracker, you definitely need it. And remember, not all calories are created equal. Um, definitely, you know, make room to have your little indulgences because you don't want to deprive yourself and then, you know, binge. Just try to set good habits for yourself. And then remember, the more of you, the better. So, anyway... <laughs> I'm going to go now, but if you guys have any questions um, on that app or how to, hey buddy, stop for a minute, stop buddy, or how to load your food or whatever, um, just message me, <laughs> so, anything.
extra veggies. All right. <laughs> so you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.